President Jimmy Carter was hospitalized Monday night ahead of a procedure to relieve pressure on his brain. That is according to the Carter Center, which released a statement on the former president's health. The center says Carter will undergo surgery at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta on Tuesday. The 95-year-old is said to be resting comfortably. He was hospitalized earlier this year for a fractured pelvis after falling in his Georgia home. He also survived a scare with cancer in 2015. Carter is the longest living president in U.S. history. CBS News contributor Dr. David Agus joins us now on the phone. Uh, Dr. Agus, this news is just coming in uh, to us as we speak. What are your initial thoughts as you're hearing about this? Uh, thank you, Elaine. I mean, my initial thoughts are he fell on October 21st and fractured his pelvis. And when you fall and can hit your head, there could be a very slow bleed in the brain. And when that blood accumulates, pressure accumulates. And then what happens is a procedure is done to remove the pressure, basically that accumulated blood in the brain. And, uh, again, I don't know the exact details, but I would imagine it's something like that happening with President Carter. And at this age, uh, obviously, uh, this advanced age, uh, I imagine any procedure is risky, but especially given uh, President Carter's age. Well, I mean, you have two major factors. He'd be 95 years old, number one, and number two is he had melanoma in the brain. So there could be underlying structural abnormalities in the brain from the previous melanoma that had spread to the brain. And obviously, a procedure like this is difficult in anybody of any age. And so our prayers and thoughts are with the president at this time. But he is keeps going. I mean, he keeps getting knocked down by these things, and it keeps popping up. I certainly hope and pray that this will happen this time. And, and Dr. Agus, um, just in terms of the process here, when we talk about some of the complicating factors here, when you consider President Carter's health history, a procedure like this to relieve pressure on his brain, is there any sense of a time frame, how long a procedure like that might take or could take? Normally, the procedures are very quick. And basically, they're just drilling a small hole in the brain and draining that fluid that's causing the pressure. So the procedure itself could be in the operating room, say, an hour. Um, and then the recovery happens over the next several days. And so, you know, again, that's the assumption of what is happening. And there's no other things going on with the recurrence of the melanoma in the brain, which I certainly don't think or haven't heard that that's the case. Uh, and what would be the questions that um, you would have that obviously there's a lot we don't know. This is just a very brief statement from the Carter Center. But um, what are some of the other things that, um, you know, as a doctor, uh, you are going to be particularly interested in finding out here in the hours ahead as we perhaps learn more about his condition? You know, it's a great question. Is that presumably there's been a slow bleed over the last several weeks since he had the fall at the end of October. And so if you drain the pressure, sometimes the bleed can increase and continue to bleed. And so certainly we worry that, you know, the pressure may have actually stopped the bleeding. And, you know, when there is pressure in the brain like that, though, over time, you start to have decreasing in function. You could be disoriented. Um, you have difficulty walking and other things. And I presume that's what led them to check this. And then what you worry is, is that if you drain that blood, there could be more bleeding. And so I don't think we're out of the wood after the procedure at all. Um, and he's going to be followed very closely, again, given his previous medical history and given his age. But the same thing we would do this to anybody who had a fall and had a slow bleed. So it's certainly a scary time. Um, but, you know, again, uh, I'm just praying that he's going to turn out all right in this one. And um, with respect to where this will actually be taking place, Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, again, there you can see the statement from the Carter Center talking about uh, the president's hospitalization on Monday, as well as the fact that this uh, procedure is scheduled to take place at Emory University Hospital on Tuesday. You can see it says there tomorrow morning. Um, what can you tell us, uh, Dr. Agus, about that particular hospital, Emory University, in terms of, um, you know, the kinds of medical expertise that is available at a university hospital like Emory University Hospital? Emory is one of the best hospitals in the country by far, and they have an amazing neurosurgery team. Um, so a neurosurgeon would be the one performing this procedure. And so we're glad that he's in a city that has a major university hospital and can have people that have significant experience doing it. Like with any medical procedure, 
it matters your experience and how many times you've done it. And certainly uh, Atlanta, very large city with an amazing university hospital. So I'm glad that he was in Atlanta when he presented. All right, Dr. David Agus, Dr. Agus, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elaine. And again, if you're just joining us, President Jimmy Carter was hospitalized Monday night ahead of a procedure to relieve pressure on his brain. That, according to the Carter Center, which released that statement. The center says that Carter will undergo surgery at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta on Tuesday. 95-year-old president is said to be resting comfortably. He was hospitalized, you'll recall, earlier this year for a fractured pelvis after falling in his home in Georgia. He also survived a scare with cancer in 2015. We're going to continue to monitor this story and bring you new information just as soon as we get it. For now, a quick break. More news ahead. Your stream 